Let me bring in Ben Wittes and Jennifer Palmieri. Jennifer, I'm going to talk to you first. Just get your initial reaction. Um, does this report confirm suspicions? I assume there's a bunch of mixed emotions, and I'm curious if you've had a chance to talk to Hillary Clinton. I've not talked to Hillary about it, but it did confirm what I've always believed about Jim Comey, which was that he wasn't operating out of a political bias, but he did have a very dangerous, um, corrupting belief that because he wasn't motivated by partisanship, that he could use his own judgment to decide what actions were right to take, and that led him to act well beyond his role as the FBI director, and that he did so with devastating consequences. And there is a real hubris there to think just because you are not a political person that you can uh, go above and beyond what your role is supposed to be. And, you know, I think his original sin was the press conference that he had, where he was Hillary no. Clinton's um, investigator, and judge, jury, um, all in, all at once. And, you know, he, you know, as he once famously said, it's right there in our name, investigations. That's what we're supposed to do. Um, and uh, to be, to act publicly as he did mm -hmm. is not his role. And um, I think, you know, we're like living every day. We live with the consequences of that. It's devastating. We are hearing from James Comey. Uh, and Ben, before I, I hear from you, let me note an excerpt here from an op-ed that popped in the New York Times literally minutes after the IG report became public. And James Comey writes the following, the inspector general's team went through the FBI's work with a microscope and found no evidence that bias or improper motivation affected the investigation, which I know was done competently, honestly, and independently. The report also resoundingly demonstrates that there was no prosecutable case against Mrs. Clinton, as we had concluded. So he's arguing that, hey, um, you, can, you can question my methods of of how we produced or how we uh, showcased our our um, investigation, but the investigation itself was fair. Uh, what's your take? Well, so I certainly agree with that. Um, you know, anytime you take a complicated investigation conducted over a long period of time uh, under the most difficult of political circumstances and you write a 560 page report detailing every aspect of it you're likely to find a bunch of things that uh, weren't done in the best way possible or in some cases uh, were not done well at all and in some cases where you just disagree with the judgments that were made and so you see all of those in different aspects of, of this report. That said, at the end of the day, what the report does not show is that any steps should have been taken that weren't taken because of political bias or that any steps that were taken were inappropriate. Uh, and it really doesn't show that the investigative conclusions were incorrect. Uh, Jennifer Palmieri, mm -hmm. let me ask you this, though. Can you say you still have faith in the FBI? If, if do you believe the FBI miss, do you believe that the FBI mishandled the Clinton email investigation or mishandled the closing of the email investigation? And I think that's an important right. distinction. It is. I, you know, I always thought when the FBI was going through their investigation of um, of her that it would end the way that it did, um, that it would conclude without them pursuing the case further. And I thought that they would be fair in how they went about that. Um, about, about that important work, and that is, um, that is what happened. But, you know, it does show to me that the, you know, there is a, uh, there's a corrupting belief that because they are not partisan or political people, like, you know, I was, right, I was a political appointee, right. that they are somehow above, not the law, but they're above reproach when it comes to taking actions that they judge to be right, even though or not their role. And what's really ironic is that the FBI was isolated, right, it was put into the Department of Justice, which is also somewhat isolated from the yeah. White House, for the purpose of protecting it from political considerations. And it was very much political considerations that led right. Jim Comey to write that letter. He wrote that letter because he thought Hillary was going to win, and he wants to, he said he wanted to make sure she wasn't considered illegitimate. I think he was more concerned with covering, with protecting his own reputation with the Republican Congress. But, right. you know, it proves the point of, I think, it, in the end, the report is important in that it shows yeah. you, you need to go back to a place where this truly I, is a, play, a institution that does not take into account political considerations. Now, I'm going to ask you both the same question, but I'm going to start with you, Jennifer. Why shouldn't then 
President Trump have some suspicions about the FBI if they bungled the Clinton email case? Because they did not reveal what would have been devastating news, and I think would have ended his uh, his presidential campaign. That his uh, that he himself was under his campaign was under investigation um, uh, for uh, cooperating with Russia. I think that's all you need to. That's all the evidence you need to point to. Ben, why why shouldn't some of Trump supporters look at this and say they botched this? How can we trust them there? Well, uh, first of all, they botched this to the extent that you think they botched this. The principal beneficiary of that was Donald Trump, and so uh, you know he's the big he's the big winner to the extent that you object to the way the FBI conducted itself. Uh, here. Put it this way: Strzok and Page did a pretty horrible job of helping Hillary Clinton. Yes, well, if, if they were if they were if they were conspiring to do this, they did a pretty bad job. I, so I agree with. So look, Strzok and Page. The, their exchange of text messages is not an appropriate thing. Uh, Are they fireable offenses? Uh, so I don't know the answer to that. My assumption is that that um, it's it's not appropriate, and FBI personnel shouldn't be doing that. Right. And I do think it is perfectly reasonable for uh, supporters of the president to look at FBI agents who are exchanging hate texts mm -hmm. about about their guy and say. I have a problem with that, and I, I, it makes me worried about the fairness of, of the investigation. That's why Bob Mueller removed, removed. Peter Strzok from the, from the investigation. Uh, I, I'm curious, um, Jennifer Palmieri, this report essentially says that James Comey was insubordinate. Right. Um, that's yeah. a word that would qualify as a fireable offense. In some ways, does it justify President Trump's decision to fire Comey? No, because we all know why why the president fired Jim Comey. He told us all on this very network he fired Jim Comey because he was being too aggressive on the Russia investigation. Um, but it is, uh, you know, I do. Uh, but you know, why Jim Comey didn't right, think that Loretta report, Lynch and Sally Yates could, could 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 handle the fallout from right. the from the their investigation? I think that's worthy of more consideration. I, I, this report. Let's take, strip out the Russia investigation, yes. strip out President Trump. Let me go to Ben on this. This report, it, would it lead to the firing of James Comey if he were still there? So, look, if I, I think that if a new president had come in mm -hmm. and said, as the IG has said, that uh, I don't like the way Jim Comey handled himself in this investigation and I'm going to remove him for it, right. and had done it actually for that reason in a reasonable period of time with explicit reference for that, I would disagree with that judgment in a pretty profound way. But. Jim Comey is accountable for the decisions that Jim Comey made. He's not pushing back against no, the idea not. that he should be held accountable for it. And if somebody profoundly disagrees with those judgments, mm -hmm. that, you know, that could be an outcome. That's not what happened here. Very quickly, uh, Jennifer, are we going to hear from Hillary Clinton or not? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I can't. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right. Well, then we'll all wait and see together. Uh, ben, Jennifer, thank you. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.